Okay, this is a little unboxing or exploration of this M, uh, MP720-105, a Multicomp Pro digital storage oscilloscope, 200 megahertz. So I, I got this from a, a competition where we had to guess what a, a mysterious card was. This is an awesome prize for such a kind of contest. So let's just see what's in here. Nicely wrapped up. Oscilloscope. Let's get this out where we can see it. Okay. Very nice. Nice and slim. And a large screen. We've got feet that allow it to tilt up. And what else is in here? Okay, we've got power cord, USB cable, <coughs> and probes in a nice plastic envelope. Wow, even some of these very uh, nice little closely grounding tip um, connectors. Looks like an adjustment tool here. All right, nicely done. Got fairly. Oh, there's a. A DVD or a CD with some software on it. A manual for the probe, manual for the oscilloscope. Let's have a quick look at the features that we can see. This is a bit different from my other scopes, but we have two rows of context sensitive buttons, the two channels, position and scaling, horizontal scaling and position, two channels, external trigger, um, the trigger controls, there's a data acquisition, recording, playback function, uh, the usual control of the measurement, um, cursors, and so on. Run, stop, single, menu, all nicely done. Nice carrying handle. In the back, we have a trigger output. We have a locking connector, a USB and a LAN or Ethernet connection and the power and there's a grounding lug back here so that's a nice little scope let me put the feet back up I'll have to turn it on and see what it looks like it's a color tile uh, this is a multi-purpose knob it's smooth there's no detents and there's buttons to allow finer control, I presume. Okay, let's see how long it takes to power up. That's
suppose I could have left that on for protection, but looks nice without it. Let's see now if we hook this up to our probe calibration. Okay, let's run through a few first impressions of how this thing works. I'm just sort of getting used to the control scheme. Along the bottom here is the upper level menu. And let's turn on channel one. I've got it hooked up to the five volt uh, square wave test pattern for calibrating the probe. Um, and we can see down here we're AC coupled, so we can change that to DC. And this button gets rid of the menus. This is the trigger level, we can adjust that here. Now I've run this square wave signal through a little RC capacitor as well, just so we can get something different on the other channel. So if I turn that on, you can see that it's um, an RC waveform based on this uh, square wave input. One of the interesting things here is that we can control some of the display and cursors and so on here. So the cursors um, brings up a, an upper level menu where we can select which cursor we're going to manipulate. So this is cursor A and we can set it to the bottom of the waveform then select cursor B and move that up to the top of the waveform. And down here it says 1.8 volts is the delta between the two. Uh, we can turn the cursors off. We can go to a display button here, which gives us an interesting option to do an XY mode. So that's one of the reasons I wanted a different signal here is to do an XY. So if I turn on the XY, you can see that it's sort of a square box and this thing can go a larger scale. Um, if I turn that off, we can see here that if we adjust the scale here, the box gets bigger. This is an interesting uh, feature for a scope of this type. It just allows us to do some interesting XY plotting. I haven't seen that on a, a, low end, a lower end scope before, so that's nice. Actually, this isn't all that low end. It's a one gigahertz sampling rate. That used to be quite a high end scope, but uh, it certainly covers the range where I do most of my work, so that's very good for me. So this button turns the counter on and off, and then the counter comes up here. It says it's that square wave is one kilohertz. Let's uh, disable the... So it's got a built-in counter, and it's got uh, one, two, three, at least six digits of accuracy or resolution. On here, we have a button to decode um, serial data streams like I squared C and SPI. There's quite a few nice little functions here. It's going to take a while for me to get used to all of them, but um, I like this scope. It's got a nice size to do um, blogging. So I keep this on the bench at the same time as my apparatus. It, it's thin so that it can just sit at the back of the, uh, the bench and uh, display what I'm looking at on my uh, apparatus. I like the color display. It's easy to tell which channel is which with the different colors. Even though they're overlapping, you can easily see which channel by its different color. 
So overall, this is a very nice little scope. Thank you very much, Element 14, for supplying this as a prize. This is actually adequate for just about every single project that I do. So it's a really nice little instrument to have on my bench.